sorry for the audio. I left my mic behind, but we are about five and a half weeks out. Sitting at a new low, at about like 185.7 pounds, and uh, dragging my feet a little bit, feeling a little bit foggy, but I still have enough energy to do cardio. <clears throat> so, and unfortunately today, uh, Lexi got some really bad news, and I don't really know how much I can talk about it right now, but she um, had a, a passing in her family, so um, somehow she's still making it to the gym today, so it's a fucking warrior. I'm going to go across this lift, and we're going to fucking kill it, and new young LA hat, and shirt. I'm obsessed with this hat on you. Oh my god. Yeah, they're all was this upside down when you saw it? I play wrong, man. These are protein nerds. Lexi actually made these. She actually bakes protein-only desserts. There's gonna be a, a bake a bakery called Lexi's Bakery, and it's gonna be um, bodybuilders only, which means you guys and vegans. <laughs> the pre that I just tried for the first time has. 400 milligrams of caffeine. <laughs> what pre is this? The new ghost one. Jesus Christ. It's like their actual pre-workout. I've never had it before. What is it called? Legend. Legend. Naturally, because I'm a fucking legend. That's why we take Wrecked Inferno. <laughs> Only 175 milligrams of caffeine from green tea. I was a liar. Never mind. It's normal caffeine. <laughs> I had two Vinci cold brews this morning. So you're feeling good? Hardly slept. You hardly slept last night? Is there a reason for that? Because I was crying. Happy 4th of July. We fucking filmed on Independence Day. And uh, everything that we filmed, there's no audio. Everything was just trash, just thrown away. So. Four hours of filming on literally sub 2,000 calories. It was a low calorie day. And then I literally slept at 4.30 in the morning to finish some work so that way I could have a whole day of editing for absolutely fucking nothing because none of the footage worked. Testing, testing. Testing. Testing, uh, testing. Testing, testing. This goes to show you shit fucking happens. Sometimes there's nothing to do about it. So might as well just work harder and keep moving forward. You have a plethora of flavors here. Yeah. Kiwi, blueberry, and raspberry, and watermelon. Watermelon's the best. Watermelon's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Undoubtedly. <laughs> Is watermelon the best or worst? It's the best. You know I can hear you. Huh? I already had a full scoop of Wrecked Inferno, and I put that in my drink on my way here, and I was going to put some more, but honestly, I shouldn't be drinking like more than 300 grams of milligrams of caffeine. 300 grams of caffeine. I woke up hella f***ing watery, like three pounds heavier from just water. So Stress. I've been sitting at 185 regularly, 184 to 185, and I woke up at 188. And then you have a carb up there and suddenly you drop weight. And it's like, why the fuck is this happening? The body just does it. Mind fuck. Yeah. <clears throat> nice. He's going to compete against you. Immense physique. Yeah, watch out. Watch out, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Young LA's big ass 25% off sale is is on Monday. At no, it's on Wednesday at 12 p.m. PST. And this is all. Everything I'm wearing is in it except for these. I think the sweatpants are going to be restocked. The sale is July 10th through July 13th, and it starts at noon and it ends at at noon. <laughs> as long as the stuff stays in stock, huh? It's a huge restock though. There's it is so big much. Restock. Hopefully. I just get so annoyed because I always get friends and people DMing me like, yo dude, it's literally been 30 minutes and I missed I missed this. I wasn't able to buy this item. Sounds like a personal I don't know what problem. To do. Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> Aside from the water retention just because I had a lot of salt yesterday, fat has been going down a lot, and I think part of that is because of the Tessamorellin and then a little bit of IDF1. And then BPC157 and TB has honestly healed my uh, tenosivitis a lot. Ever since I got the cortisone shot, and then I added the BPC and TB500 every day, 
now I can almost open my hands. Like you see how like my thumb on my right hand is just a little bit farther. My left hand used to be like this and now it's like this. So I'm almost there and I don't feel any pain. So it's just been good and that's nice. Um, and all of that is from Transcend HRT is where I get mine from. Obviously pharmaceutical grade is so much more expensive, but in my opinion, if it comes to like BPC or expensive stuff like GH, it's definitely worth it because UGL are probably going to try to save as much money by giving you some fake ass shit or watering it down significantly. Talked to this big ass bodybuilder who said that um, uh, Muhammad, Mahamud Aldora came on my podcast. Podcast is going to go live next week. Um, he was an Olympian in 212. For three IUs of pharma grade, he had to take five to six IUs of regular UGL GH. Transcend still has that sale, it's 20% off everything and Tess Morellon's 50% off all the way up till Monday. This top is in the new Young LA drop too. It's pretty hard. I fuck with the cuts. So normally I hit shoulders and chest on the same day, but sometimes I need a shoulder priority day just since I've been focusing a lot more on chest and back. And the shoulder priority day is pretty good if you're doing anything in men's physique and sometimes even classic because it squares out your V-taper. So right now, instead of starting off with a chest press, I'm starting off with a overhead press and then I'm gonna go on to lateral raise. But the overhead press is always my weakest just since I injured my shoulders. So I try to go slow and I try to go low weight. <laughs> uh, uh. Going for four sets of uh, 10 to 12 with the overhead press. And then the lateral raises. Medial delts and rear delts, I go higher reps. Dude, this is seven. Fine with Josh, but this is what it is. No way. What do you think it is? <laughs> it, might be, it might be a scam. I don't know. What? Last set, I like to pump out. These are the simplest exercises in the shoulder day. Just overhead press, lateral raise, very simple. Um, the next two are the ones that are a little bit more special, but I think these are probably the most important staples. And I think most bodybuilders can agree. There's days that I hit 20 to 25 reps for lateral raises. And then there's days like today where I like to hit 12 to 15 reps as my lowest for lateral raises. I never go eight to 10. I've never found that to be um, beneficial for me. Some people might respond better to some fast twitch work and lower reps. But for me personally, 12 to 15 and then 20 to 25 has been bee's knees. Shit. 
<sighs> Last couple sets I do more of a squeeze set, which is uh, still about the 12 to 15 range, but instead focusing a lot more on a lot slower of an eccentric. And then after that, when I hit the failure, I just drop down and do a drop set for a couple dumbbells. Next exercise, cables, juicy cables. I don't have to do anything that you don't want to, but I just ask you guys to pray for Lexi because she's not, she's not doing so well right now. So if I think my problems are bad, I've had my best friends die too. And uh, there's not much that compares, honestly. Uh, Lexi got some unfortunate news today, so she's uh, been going through some some stuff. But uh, we were all having some conversations that kind of reminded me of some things that I've been thinking about about my life and uh, my last best friend Nick passed away. It was a very complicated situation, and I've talked about this on the podcast a few times, but unfortunately. He was someone that was always very aware of his health, but even in even the day that he passed away, it was a complete accident. And um, it was really, it was a really ridiculous accident. But somebody was drinking. They were on a boat, and there was a bunch of water bottles. They drank someone's water bottle, and the water bottle was filled with a drug instead of water. Uh, and obviously, he didn't know any of this. So, um, he ended up overdosing on something that he didn't even know he was ingesting. And there were some things about the situation that I felt kind of responsible for. But I think in a lot of times we tend to feel pretty responsible for people that we care about, especially if we feel like we could have giving them more attention and giving them more time. And even to this day, I know there's so many things that I could have done better as a friend, and there's so many things I could have done to stop this situation, because I knew that there's not enough. But, um, one thing I try to remind myself is as a man, I can only do what I can with the things that I can control. And sometimes there's a lot of things that universe has in store for us that we just can't control. So, now that it's over, the thing that I remind myself and the thing that we all, I believe, really should do just take accountability for the things we've done. Realize the places that we have power. Don't victimize ourselves. 
be a better man moving forward. And I think all the people who love will benefit from that a lot. Hopefully appreciate it. I have to take a little hiatus for a second, um, but she was like extremely, extremely close to this person. I'm sure on the inside I know that she feels responsible uh, for some complicated reasons that are hard for me to go into, but uh, when you feel like you love someone so much that you feel like you can save them after years, and it's something that you think about for years, and then the next day, it's too late. And obviously, it's something you never expected. It's not a good feeling. But, um, we've been here for way longer than we we're supposed to just because of stuff going on. So I have to have my second meal, or I have to have my third meal, um, which is why I have to do this. But otherwise, if I got a, a, a normal pace workout, I would have my meal after the workout's over. But I need to make sure I get my protein in for this prep. Oh shit! <laughs> run, 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 run! <laughs> mm -hmm. The third exercise is cable cross lateral raises. So, one thing I like to do is sometimes I'll grab both cables at the bottom and I'll cross it and I'll go over like this, just to save time, so I don't have to do each hand by itself. Obviously, it gets a little bit annoying if you start crossing your hands and the cables get, you know, they rub together and get stuck. So, the other option is just the one hand, single hand, and the reason I like this so much is because there's more force in the stretch position of the fibers. So, where you're doing just regular lateral raises, by the time you're at the top of the lateral raise, depending on how flexible you are, I'm not that flexible, then to go higher, you start using a little bit of traps. And um, that's, the, that's the heaviest point of force. So it gets easy for us to kind of kip in the bottom so we can make sure that we get it to the top. And it's a good exercise, but for a second exercise, I like to do one where the force is at the more stretched position because that gives me a better pump and it aligns with stretch mediated hypertrophy. I've noticed whenever I have the fullest stretch at any of these exercises, like if I'm doing cable flies, I start feeling some crazy pump and soreness in my front delts and in my chest, which is amazing. Versus if I come out here and I do this, and I just do front raises like this, versus if I come back here and then I go, go all the way up there, I feel a much greater engagement, much greater focus, a much greater pump, and I'm also more sore for the next few days. Imagine fucking uh, choking my wire. <laughs> the problem with my left hand right now is the tenosovitis is fine on my thumb, but I still feel some of the leftover tension on the muscle fibers that run on your forearm that connect through your wrist to the uh, the entire section that's affected by tenosynovitis, so tenosynovitis. So, at least according to my active release therapist, it runs all the way up here, and sometimes even the muscles up here are causing issues. And I still feel that whenever I do front raises. When I do front raises, I feel tension here. So, or lateral raises. So unfortunately, I have to go a little bit more careful on my left side. Another alteration of this is hitting front raises, and then I just come up and forward, so I have a greater stretch in my front delt. It feels pretty good.
shit. Oh, this is just Cialis, bro. That's all this is. Huh? Just Cialis? Yeah. This is just Cialis. It's totally not an Anavar trush. What's Anavar? Trend hard. Eat plan. Test your limits. And Navar K pop. And Navar. I feel like when prep happens, it's just a competition every day to find the best lighting. Fourth exercise, rear delts. My favorite rear delt exercise by far, just because I get the best stretch on it. The reason I love this one for rear delts is because coming from here to here, that's back thickness, right? Here, with your scapula, retracting your scapula, that's back thickness. And then coming out even more, or coming down lower, that's like lats and then a little bit of back thickness. But if you stretch further, this is back and some rear delts. If you stretch even further, that kind of takes out some back out of the equation because it's now in an isometric position. Now your back is stretched, but the thing that's still moving and stretching even more is your rear delts. So this gives the biggest stretch because there's not really any other exercise aside from doing a cable variation of this. We can do the normal rear delt exercise. This is really good too. And the nice thing about this one is if you're doing like a bent over rear delt with flies, with the dumbbells, then the force is all the way out here. You don't have any force down here. But at least for this machine, the force goes the entire way. So it's still effective for you to do a reverse pack deck with both hands. But personally for me, my favorite one is to go to one side and give myself an even bigger stretch. And then that's where I really feel a lot of Doing triceps after shoulders is a little bit harder than doing triceps after your chest. <laughs> this is Roman, by the way. 
for everybody who's been wondering who's behind the camera. Yep. So we're just talking about... Shoots guns, MMA, worked as a bouncer, um, was uh, MGK's studio audio dude something. Yeah, I worked at uh, MSM Productions. Yeah, and then... Uh, you bounced or you just bodyguarded for... Bodyguard. You bodyguarded for... For who? I can't say the celebrities, but I can say... Anyways, if you guys want to know what happened, everything went wrong and the other mic doesn't work, so today is just a fucking shitty day. Basically, we're just saying that this guy was a bodyguard for... The Milken family, a bunch of rich billionaires. And then he was like, you know what? This is cool and all, but... I'm literally risking my life for somebody that I barely know or care about, no matter how famous they are. Yep. And fame doesn't matter. So, now it's my videographer because he's sick as fuck. <laughs> Let's go, baby. And my boy. Yeah, Homies good. first, though. Always. I just gotta get bigger, though. You're pretty big already, dude. Yeah, but I wanna get bigger. Yeah, we all do. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could be 260 two easy, huh? How much do you weigh now? Uh, 210. 210. Yeah. Damn, bro, 50 pounds? Yeah. yeah. That'd Lean, be insane. Too. Lean. Yeah. All right, I'm going to be real with you. I'm not trying to okay. induce you to take anything, but <laughs> let's be real. <laughs> Lexi definitely needed to go get some time for herself, so, um, which is absolutely more important than anything. So hopefully we'll see her again, maybe the week after, next week, when she gets back from the funeral. Come on, come on. Maybe we should just try to arm wrestle some random people today. I feel like doing that. I feel like doing that. I mean, practice James's fucking wrist exercise thing. at home you could use for that too. <laughs> this jersey is dropping on Wednesday too. Juicy jersey. I'm supposed to do a list cardio right now. I'm gonna do 35 minutes. I'm supposed to be 125 to 135 beats per minute, but I'm gonna go for like 150. I'm just gonna speed run this and keep it at 35 minutes because I'm fucking pissed. I just feel like I need to expend some energy. So the Young Light drop this Wednesday and the big ass restock with a bunch of other restock stuff. That's 25% off with code now. And then Transcend, the HOT medications and all the other um, BPC healing peptides, various other things, testosterone, GH, that is all 20% off till Monday too. So for Transcend, that 20% off sale is ending on the 8th, and then it's 50% off Tess and right now too, which is the growth hormone secreted dog that burns your belly fat. Huge supplements, could not offer the discount too. Thanks for bearing with me through this workout. or shoulders and tries. I wanted to try to hit some chest today, but it's 5.30 and we're supposed to leave here at 5 p.m. So we've been here for three and a half hours. Thank you guys for sticking it through with me, as usual. There's Harry. Love you guys.